What do we got? This is the Triple Dog Irish Whiskey. Shall I read? Yeah. Shall you pour? Yeah. Should we talk a little bit about how they were kind enough to send us a bottle and yeah. invite us onto their Zoom? Yeah. Let's do all that and more. They dared us to do it. They triple Years ago, us. Daniel Patrick O'Shevlin went to Ireland to be with his family after the passing of his grandfather, Philip Joseph, patriarch of the O'Shevlin clan. There, it was there that Daniel's father gave him a small wooden box that would change his life forever. In it were handmade drawings dated 1916, along with a recipe for creating a new Irish whiskey and enduring yet unfulfilled dream of Philip Joseph. Months later, Dan found himself among a group of local whiskey makers, passionately debating how traditional Irish whiskey could better appeal to the next generation of whiskey lovers, something outside the conventional stodgy norm. The discussion quickly escalated to the pinnacle of pup challenges, the formidable Triple Dog Dare. Mm. Inspired by his grandfather's legacy and the 100-year anniversary of his lifelong dream, Dan felt the time was right to take the dare. The result is the Triple Dog Irish Whiskey, an Irish spirit born of and celebrating daring individuality. Beyond the strong pedigree, the bold stance alone tells you these dogs were bred to be different. Mm. Okay. So they were kind enough to invite us onto their uh, Zoom meeting. We got to talk to Dan and to find uh, other folks that work with him, as yes. well as some of the people from Big Thirst Marketing. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought it was a pretty fun time. It was good. It was fun. It was very good. It was long. It was about an hour. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I unfortunately. Oh, let's go. A little cheers. 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 Yeah, I unfortunately had to join in the car because I had to go pick up one of the boys. So I was listening in, but I also had it here, so I think I may have upset someone because I left my mic on. And I had the Sixers game on in the background, so my apologies for the... Uh, I don't know that you really upset anyone. It was just the long streams of profanity. We, <laughs> uh, I, I believe someone questioned whether you had Tourette's. It might have been what it was. I'm not really sure. <sighs> maybe, maybe. I had the mute on in the car. I just listened in, and then I got back, and then I joined in. And then, you know, our dear friend Mark Gillespie decided to <laughs> harass me in the chat. So... Um, the bottle's kind of cool. It's interesting. I don't, I mean, the dog collar's neat. I don't quite get it. But okay. But the one thing that they pointed out is it's the three headed dog. Yes. For the triple dog dare. So right, it's right. the Cerebus. And uh, uh -huh. they got the little dog collar, which they said comes off, and that some people have been using this as a scrunchie. I don't know. I showed it to my wife, and she said, no. No. Her hair's a little too thick to fit in there. Same thing. Same? A little okay. too thick to fit mm -hmm. in there. The other thing which I like about this is they actually went and they did the top. The top. So it's actually embossed as well where okay. they cut it out. It's actually a nice little top to it. Very nice. Yeah, it's neat. It's a neat the, design. The, the one thing I don't like about the bottle is by coloring the bottle the way they did, you can't tell how much is still in it. Oh, that's true. So while we were on the call and I was pouring this off, mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure how much I may have had during the call. Ah, you're filling your glass. Your glass was clear. Oops. <laughs> Was your glass not clear? The glass was empty. The nose is really, really sweet. It's not like the typical Irish. It's got it's a little more fragrant. It, it's almost like, um, you know, the Teelings with the rum cask, where it has a little extra punch to it. It's not just no. I, I'm wrong there. The it, it's uh, it's not the it's uh, four years in French oak. That's what oh, okay. Four years in French oak. Is it like new French oak? Is it like an ex cognac barrel or? I think it's it's new French oak. So okay. I, I don't know that for sure. They're using malted and unmalted grains. Okay. It's aged a minimum of four years, and it is triple distilled in copper pot stills and copper column stills. Okay. So using a blend of everything to make the whiskey. Interesting. Okay. The nose is really, really sweet to me. Yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah. Like there's vanilla, there's a little cinnamon, almost like a little popcorn, yeah. maybe? Like a, like a caramel popcorn? Like the butter. Like the yeah. butter. Butter, uh, uh, butter toffee. Yeah. Almost get a little bit of that. But a hint of cinnamon, just a hint. I don't get the usual Irish heather. No, no, oh, exactly. Like this is not, not, this has a little bit, which is why I said I, it feels more like a Teelings. Yeah. You know, because that Teelings, they did that uh, rum cast finish yeah. on all their on their whiskeys and stuff, yeah. so you get that little bit extra. It's very different from the usual Irish. It's, I think it's pretty sweet. It's sweet. It's certainly a sipper. Yeah. It has a little bit of heat to it, but not a lot. Mm. No, there's, there's and, a peppery, and, little peppery bite, and, cinnamon and pepper. Not a whole lot of finish, but the yeah. Irish whiskey typically doesn't have mm -hmm. real strong finish. Right. It's um, different from other Irish whiskeys. I don't, yeah. I don't necessarily know that I, it, it makes it good or bad. It's just mm -hmm. different. Almost like, like an apple cinnamon donut. You know, like I get that kind of a thing. Like you get the fruit, like a little fruity, but then you yeah. get that little bit of cinnamon and yeah. vanilla and all that kind of stuff. 
it's not like you know, like a, like an apple whiskey, apple flavored whiskey no, or something no, no, like that. No. I'm not saying it's like that. No, no. no. But I just you're, get you're those kind of notes. The, uh, the apple and then the baked uh, mm-hmm. baking spices. Yeah, yeah. Which I think was one of the notes someone was throwing out mm-hmm. on the on our call. Um, it's very nice. It's very pleasant for yeah, someone who's making a whiskey for the first time. Right. Um, obviously, taking a recipe and having someone else contract to still for him, not making because this guy's in Texas, not right. actually making something. You can't make Irish whiskey in yeah. Texas. Um, it's Texas. Mm-hmm. I think this is a great first effort. I think the uh, the four years is probably right. I'd mm-hmm. like to see what the five year and the yeah. six year and the seven year looks like. There's and again, that's the youngest whiskey that's in it is four years. I guess so. Yeah. So some of the other whiskey was might a be older. older. But even on the finish, though, I'm still getting like that apple cinnamon, like light, light powdered mm-hmm. sugar. You know, it's, it's it's sweeter. Again, it's it's just different. I'm not going to say it's better or worse. It's just a, a variation mm-hmm. on a theme. And and I think if you're someone who likes a sweet flavor, mm-hmm. you would really enjoy this. Yeah. If you're someone who's looking for a little more complexity, maybe more notes, yeah. maybe more of a finish. I don't know if this is for you. Um, I'd be curious to try it at a higher ABV. Yeah, that was my feeling with this is that. Obviously, at uh, 80 proof, 40%. Mm -hmm. I I think they're doing that so they have quantity. Mm -hmm. Um, These are small batches they're making. Right. So they wouldn't have enough if they put this out at 50 50 or something. Um, But as they get more in the barrel, um, I'd like to see this in higher ABV to see if that adds a little more punch to it. It's missing some of the punch for me. Yeah. But I mean, typically, though. Most even even your Middletons, which mm-hmm. costs an arm and a leg. This was about thirty six bucks. Yeah, thirty six dollars. Thirty six dollars a bottle. I mean, your Middleton, very rare, is what over two hundred bucks. It's not thirty six dollars, <laughs> especially the vintage ones. What are the vintage ones? Two fifty, two sixty nine. If you can find them, and they're forty percent. Yeah, it's a very good whiskey. Don't get me wrong; it's completely different from this. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's also seven times the price. Yeah, and you know, a third of the price is that beautiful box. Yeah, it's a handy box. My future coffin. Yeah, if you will, for my ashes. Um. I think it might be a little too sweet for me. No. It's good. It might make a nice old-fashioned. It probably yeah. makes a nice cocktail. Yeah, and I think the 40% is probably what's right for the cocktail. Yeah, the probably. Cocktail trades. Or a little um, bit higher, and maybe you can water it down and, with other well, ingredients. And, and while I'm thinking you maybe don't need to add mm-hmm. some of the sweet components to the right, cocktail. Right, because it's already pretty sweet. Because kind of yeah. sweet. So, so I go like 86. Yeah, it's a B. It's a B. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's, a, it's about an 86 A, a little me. less than a B plus. Yeah, um, I, I think it's... Nice. I think it's, remember, this is like really our second taste. So yeah. maybe it's just a question of, you know, we have expectations with an Irish whiskey, yeah. and this is a little different from those expectations. Yeah. So maybe it's it's a combination of that, but I, I'd say 86 yeah. for this one. So I'd probably go a little bit higher because, you know, mm-hmm. I like Irish whiskey. I know. It could be 87, 88, but, but it, uh, it it just didn't do it for me for, to, to get, you know, the, the full B+. Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Well, I think we're in the ballpark. Yeah. I think we're in the range. Yeah. So, sir... Cheers. cheers and cheers to the fine folks that bring in the triple dog Irish whiskey and thank you to Big Thirst Marketing for inviting us yeah. on the Zoom and for sending us this I'm lovely sure. bottle. Yeah, cheers. Nice. If I had hair, I'd use it to tie my hair back, but I don't have that. Maybe I should grow out my beard. I should do the. Oh, I should wow. go full like ZZ Top, full Captain Lou Albano. Yeah, sure. Why not? That's Instead good. of rubber bands, I'll put that around. That's there. good. That works. It's a good works. look. Yep. There you go. <laughs> cheers. That's a parting shot. Later.